Good afternoon from the symposium in Long Beach, California. I'm standing here with Mario D'Arnzetta of Timco Engineering. How are we doing? Pretty good, and yourself? Oh, good, thank you. How's the day been? Very nice. I enjoyed the symposium so far very well. Great, man. That's terrific. What can you tell us about Timco Engineering? Oh, well, quite a bit, actually. We're one of probably the still the nation's largest and uh, um, t telecommunication certification body and uh, a test lab besides. Uh, our main area of focus for our test lab is uh, uh, what I would call two-way radio or uh, part 90 type of devices for the FCC and for uh, uh, certification pretty much uh, certifying everything under the sun for all the rule parts part 15, part 90 and uh, a lot of 22, 24 which is cellular equipment and uh, do pretty good with that. Um, you do a lot of testing down there. You guys are located down in North Central Florida area around the University of Gainesville area. Well, that's and cool. Gainesville and uh, we're actually in a little town west of there called Newbury, Florida. Newbury, Florida. A large facility. You've got a lot of... Uh... A medium facility. We're about 18 people and uh, a mi good mixture of between administrative staff and engineers. We do a lot of two-way radio along with uh, not only certification testing or FCC testing, but there's also an area called uh, what I call um, P25, which is protocol testing for land mobile radios. For P25 is a protocol standard uh, for, uh, uh, so named for APCO 25, and which became P25, and then that became a TIA standard and it's for two-way uh, interoperability standards. And, and that seems to be a big push right now for, between Homeland Security and the, the municipals uh, and so that they can acquire new radios and, and, uh, for, their, for their municipalities. And so it seems to be working out real well for us. Uh, a lot, of, lot to test, uh, interesting work and uh, so it's another focus for, for our organization. Now when you do a product for P25, you have to show it com can... Conformance to TIA standards. And do you have to like talk to like several different radios with it or just kind of you, briefly, what's there's, that? There's, there's a couple of things there. One is the, on the radio level, where you meet the, uh, the TIA standard for that. Then there's a then there's a interoperability between different repeater sites and the radio has to be able to seamlessly communicate through different repeater systems and the uh, I'm not sure if it's the Homeland Security that's pushed that or because it's not part of the TIA standard but it has to be done with three systems you know three com uh, repeater systems and to get the certification that's required and so yeah that that's a, a big part of it that's pretty interesting uh, what else has Timco got going on right now uh, we also are doing uh, testing for lithium-ion batteries for UN and uh, DOT standard and that's part of a more of a physical t type testing you know things like altitude and and uh, shock and vibration temperature extremes and to see that the batteries won't leak or, you know, hold hold together uh, through the whole the the group the battery of tests that that's required of those standards. Is that primarily all environmental, or is there any electrical tests? Do you have to like short them or anything like that? Yes, but that's more on the cell on the individual cell basis. But for the people who put together the pack, uh, that's. Uh, a small part of the standards, mostly environmental. So in summary, M Timco Engineering is a full service radio right. environmental laboratory. For commercial standards, With yes. certification capabilities and uh, can help you get uh, your product on the market. Very much so. Try to do it in a very timely fashion so they can get to, to market. And let's face it, that's what it is for them. It's product to market. Exactly, if it's not on the shelf being sold, it's, it's not making not them any money. money. That's exactly okay. right. Well, Mario, Very it's good. great to speak with you, man. I hope the show goes well for you. I hope you well, have a good you. time here in Long Beach. I'm and, uh, looking forward to it. It's the first time uh, in a long time that I've been out in California. <laughs> great. <laughs> great, Mario. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.